Very common question to a pediatrician is, my child is playing a sport, football or baseball, and occasionally gets some chest pain and is referred to a cardiologist. But the pediatrician is sure that very few of them are really cardiac. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, they are really cardiac. Thank goodness most kids don't have heart disease. Okay, but certainly, you know, we, we have to be aware of red flags of which ones might actually have a heart problem. Um, but, you know, most basically what I'll do is, is a history on the patient. Just talk to them. You know, when are they getting the pain? Um, how long have they had it? The intensity of the pain. Um, one question that I love to ask them is when you have the pain, does it hurt more when you move or take a deep breath or when you touch it? And often the answer is, you know, that it does hurt more. So that's referred to musculoskeletal? Those are the musculoskeletal ones. Is there any type of chest pain that would make you more suspicious as cardiac in an adolescent over something that maybe is only musculoskeletal? Now, I'm much more concerned, certainly, if uh, they're getting the pain with activity. Um, that, you know, and I, it, we, we, I suppose if I would say that if they're getting with activity and it does not seem to be musculoskeletal, then I really have to be more concerned. Um, that's the patient where um, I would certainly, you know, make sure we, we, that we, we get a stress test on them. Ah, uh, but sometimes these kids don't have a cardiac problem. It could also be pulmonary, is that true? Sometimes, sure. You know, even, you know, even pneumonia or asthma, you know, if, if you just think of it, even an asthmatic who is breathing hard, you know, using those muscles in their chest, you know, they can eventually get pain. But if someone has been brought to a doctor with chest pain, that should always be checked pretty carefully to make sure there's nothing more serious by it. Well, absolutely. You know, you, you know, the patient's coming to you and you want to make sure that there are no red flags. Um, some of the other things that I think you, you have to think about, you know, whether, what, what else might give you chest pain, like something like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So if there's any family well, history... Well, cardiac myopathy, is that... Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Okay, and that is caused by a what? Well, it's not caused. It's something that you can be born with. Or... or you actually can develop it... From? You know, uh, later on in life. It, it might be genetic, but, you know, you, you might be the only person in your family to have it. But we hear sometimes like a professional basketball player drops yeah. dead in a court and they have a carditis of sorts or myocarditis. They, they, what, what's that all about? So, so those are, 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 you know, various forms of problems with the muscle of the heart. Could that okay. virus trigger that off? So, oh, well, so, that, so that's one area. Could, but could one a virus? But could a virus? Absolutely. And even a simple virus, you know. The, the same virus which might give one child a, a simple cold may unfortunately give another child an inflammation of their heart, where the heart is not beating well, it's not beating strong enough, it's weak, and it can also put that, that person at risk for, for rhythm problems, which can be very deadly in a heart that, that isn't healthy. So the body is pretty smart. It gives you good signals. We have to listen to them. Is that correct? You have to listen, but I, I must tell you, you know, certainly the time to diagnose myocarditis is one of the hardest diagnoses for anyone to make. But we should never exclude the word chest pain to we're comfortable in having a good workup. Is that correct? Uh, absolutely.